Number one, we're gonna look for one hour breakouts. This will work with anything. Forex, futures, equities. So I've got the United States Japanese Yen pulled up and this is the one hour chart. So in the morning, when I get up and I start going through my my routine, I mark my key levels, highs and lows, and then you know certain pivot points. And then after I mark my levels, I'm gonna look for one hour breakouts. The reason why I look for one hour breakouts is the, that's if it's breaking out, I wanna go with that momentum. So number one, look for one hour breakouts. So like for example, United States Japanese Yen, right now we're consolidating sideways. So I'd be waiting for it to break out of my area with volume, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit, and then that's a chart that I wanna focus on. If I look at the United States Japanese Yen right now and it's not breaking out, then I'll go look at something else. For example, this was this morning on the Euro USD. Do you notice how I identified this triangle? And then boom, it broke out aggressively. You can see this candle closed near the top, but that's a pair that I wanna focus on. If I look at the United States Japanese Yen and it's sideways, I look at, let's say the S&P 500, I was looking at the MES, so let me go actually look at the chart. The MES, it was choppy and sideways, didn't like either one of those. So if I see that the Euro United States is breaking out, that's what I wanna focus on, okay? So that's number one, look for one hour breakouts. All right, number two, when you get the one hour breakout, what you want to see is a pullback into the breakout area. Okay, so let's go look at it. We were looking again at the Euro United States dollar. We knew that this pair broke out, I guess it was around seven o'clock in the morning ish. So if we go to that time period, so do you see how it broke out and then it pulled back? Now, what I like to look for when a pullback is, I like to look for it to pull back to a key level. Now that key level can be a high and a low, maybe a high and a low that I identified on the hourly time frame, or when it breaks out, I'm looking for supply and demand. And so what I notice right here is demand. Now I have a lot of videos on demand, it's aggressive buying, but it, it, it broke out, and I wanna see that breakout create a key area. In this particular case, it created a demand zone, and then we pull back into the demand zone. So that's what I'm looking for first, right? The breakout on the one hour, and then I wanna see it pull back into a key area. So that is number two. All right, number three. After it pulls back into the key area, then what I'm gonna be looking for is a setup. Now, I teach my students eight different setups okay now i call them smart money traps it's it's a specific pattern that occurs around those uh, five minute areas whether it's a like i said a high or a low or demand or supply it's a specific pattern that occurs to let me know that institutions are faking out the retail traders but when we're pulling back we're going to look for a setup now really quickly what i'll do is i will show you a couple different setup bars that I'm looking for. Now, you can trade these setup bars by themselves. You can wait for multiple candles, and I like to do that, okay? Because again, I have specific traps that are built around these. But setup bars, for example, this is a bearish pin bar. You might call it a tail bar, which you've got the body at the bottom, and you got that long wick. Flip it around. It's bullish when you have the body at the top and the long wick okay so that is a pin bar as we broke out we pull back look at right there pin bar pin bar pin bar these are very powerful signal now this is a bullish pin bar because the head was near the top and also really quickly one of my favorite candle patterns in the world it's called a pin bar trap so i see a pin bar trap right here it occurs on the five minute charts really often, but traps, like I said, I get more into detail about specific traps inside the course and inside my live coaching, but I see a trap, but ultimately look at these pin bars, boom, 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 very powerful bullish signal. I'm gonna wait for those in a key area. Now, another one is a, a solid bar. So when it pulls back into the uh, zone, 
you can look for a solid bar. Now, a bearish is basically, it just is a big old red candle that closes at or near the bottom. It doesn't have to close exactly at the bottom, but at or near. And then bullish at or near the top. So I found one right here, and it's the NASDAQ. So this is a demand zone, aggressive buying. And you can identify this zone or area and it pulled back and look how this bar right there closed at the very top. That is a solid bar at a demand area. And again, this is five minutes. So you're just putting all the pieces together, right? So you, you apply step one and step two, and then you're looking for these setup bars to occur in that area. All right, so the next setup bar is the engulf bar. And the engulf bar is basically whenever the high and the low engulf the high and the low of the previous bar. So for example, right here, high, low, it engulfs that. High, low, it engulfs that. So that's an engulf bar. You guys might be familiar with an engulfing candle, but I call this the engulf bar. The bar engulfs the previous bar. What we want to do is we want to see these bars occur at the supply and demand zone or key areas after we get that one hour breakout. If you notice here, this is uh, gold. We had aggressive buying, right? Again, we want to see the institutions present because that's how we make our money, right? We follow the institutions. Again, look right here, you've got a pin bar, but here is a demand zone. And then when it pulled back, I want you to notice this candle right here. Now this is also, you could call this a solid bar, but you see how that wick and that wick engulf the previous candle? So this is also an engulfing bar, but I call it an engulf, or an engulfing candle, but I call it an engulf bar. And all of these setup bars happen on all different time frames. So in order for you, to master day trading, this simple three-step system is all you're gonna need. Now, if you're interested in joining our private members area, we just launched that. Inside that members area, we have a lot of perks. I post videos that I don't post on this channel for anybody else, private live streams, live coaching classes, we go over indicators. Also, I have a Q&A group where I give alerts, and we have a specific trading room for crypto, day trading the futures, and option swing trading. If that interests you, check down below in the description to join our private members area. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out, and we'll see you in the next video.